Hello there, this is a tutorial for the procedural lines or curve blend generator. So in the previous tutorial we spoke about this version where you can have two curves and if you take the curves and you drag them you see that it interpolates between the two curves. You can set the amount of curves and uh, you can resample the line, you can reverse a line to make it work. But now uh, what we also did was make a surface from these two lines. So in the example that you see here, we can do exactly the same. We can add geometry by giving it more lines or more points. So if we go into the geometry node and here you see that we to make it more visible split all the edges and then scale them if we mute these with m we can see what the geometry actually is so here you see all the squares if we go into the parameters you can see that we can make more lines in either direction and they are also UV unwrapped. We have here a UV output, but you can also use the UV map as it's always described in the UV map. Uh, and you can use that for your material. So if we go here, we can see the standard uh, UV map that comes with Blender. And if we look here into the shading, uh, use the UV dash map. To use for the images that you want to put in here and it's just a uv square so if you look from the top like this if i take the curves that make up this surface and i grab them you see that uh, the texture stretches so it it sees it always as a square so if you want to change that you can go into the material you can use a mapping and then this way you can uh, scale it stretch it and this way it becomes really easy to uh, change your uv maps or put a uv map on your generated uh, curves or curve surface and here also uh, just as in the previous version we have a mesh setup right here, two mesh lines. If we turn this one off for a moment. You see here the mesh lines that make up the surface. And here we have the two curves that make up this surface. So it doesn't really matter if you plug in meshes or curves and it will make uh, your surface. But what you can also do, what I did here, is put a subdivision modifier and then you get a smooth curve but you can also just use a uh, bezier, bezier, bezier to make smooth curves as well so i hope that this is useful and uh, see you in the next one